again next year for our Go Kids! So, today we are very excited to worship with you online and hmm, were you able to do your assignment? Were you able to give to a kid a gift and share to him or her the love of Jesus? Good job! For those who haven't done that yet, we still have the whole December to do it, right? Okay, so we are excited again today, and please join me in a word of prayer as we start. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, that today we could worship you again here at Go Kids. And thank you, Father, that you have promised us that you are with us. And thank you, Lord, that this month we could celebrate your love for us, not just this month, but the rest of the year. So thank you, Lord. Give us wisdom as we learn truths today. In Jesus' name, amen. So, as we celebrate God's love, join me as we sing and dance and move for Jesus. region of Judea. That time, Herod was the ruler and the king of that region. He was known as a wicked and cruel king. One night, the wise men from the east, who were also called Magi and were like priests to the king, noticed a new star in the sky. The Magi were wise in many things. One of the things these men studied was stars. These men knew a lot about the stars and their locations in the sky. The wise men knew that the new star meant that the Savior had been born. And they knew that the baby was the promised king of the Jews. They wanted to see him. They asked, Where is the baby who was born to be the king of the Jews? We saw his star in the east. We came to worship him. When King Herod heard about this new king of the Jews, he didn't like it. He was troubled that a new king would take his power. All the people in Jerusalem were worried too. King Herod called a meeting of all the leading priests and teachers of the law. He asked them, 
Where will the Christ be born? They answered, In the town of Bethlehem in Judea. The prophet wrote about this in the scriptures. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, you are important among the rulers of Judah. A ruler will come from you. He will be like a shepherd for my people, the Israelites. Then Herod had a secret meeting with the wise men from the east. He learned from them the exact time they first saw the star. He sent the wise men to Bethlehem and said to them, Go and look carefully to find the child, and when you find him, come, tell me. Then I can go worship him too. The wise men heard the king and then left. They saw the same star they had seen in the east. It went before them until it stopped above the place where the child was. When the wise men saw the star, they were filled with joy. They went to the house where the child was and saw him with his mother, Mary. They bowed down and worshipped the child. They opened the gifts they brought for him. They gave him treasures of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. God warned the wise men in a dream not to go back to Herod. God made sure that Herod wouldn't find out exactly where Jesus was born because Herod wanted to kill him. So the wise men went home to their own country in a different way. God kept Jesus safe. Herod cannot stop God from fulfilling his promise. Jesus was born to die for your sins. He was born to save you from hell and be with you in heaven someday. He was born for you and me. God loves us, so He gave Jesus as a special gift to the world. Will you accept God's love? Will you accept His gift? Will you accept Jesus? The wise men knew that Jesus was special so they wanted to worship and give Him special honor. You can also be like the wise men. You can also worship and give Jesus special honor by accepting His love and obeying Him. Have you given Jesus honor today? We give gifts on Christmas because we remember the gifts the wise men brought to Jesus. That's right, Iris. And let's not forget God's gift to us. Jesus! Go kids, friends! See? The wise men worship Jesus and we can too! So, see you again next time to worship with us! Merry Christmas! Let's go to our Bible verse. Our Bible verse for today is taken from Isaiah chapter 63 verse 7. I will mention the loving kindnesses of the Lord and the praises of the Lord. Okay, this time kids, you join me. Isaiah chapter 63 verse 7. I will mention the loving kindnesses of the Lord and the praises of the Lord. I hope you have learned some lessons about the three wise men. They gave gifts to Jesus from their hearts. What about you? What are you going to give to Jesus as we end this year and as we start our next year? Can you also desire to know Jesus more next year? Or love Jesus more? Thank you, Jesus, for all of your goodness to us this year, 2020. A lot has happened, Lord, but thank you that you have been so good to us for protecting us, Lord, and for being with us this whole year. So, Lord, I speak special blessing to these kids that as we end this year, they will continue to grow in you more next year through this Go Kids ministry. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. So... Somehow I feel sad that it's going to be our last episode, 
But hopeful soon you're going to see again next year, 2021, here at Go Kids! I hope you'll invite more friends and classmates with you to join us next year. Okay, kids? Thank you! Have a great 2020 and Christmas and New Year!